After this short tutorial, you'll know how to make a Say Uncle sandwich for lunch at Kick Butt Coffee. Cool. This is another hot one. So we're going to put our bread in the oven first. That takes the longest. And it's going to require cheddar cheese and roast beef. Let's pull that out. Take one slice of cheddar. Get it rolling in that. Make sure it's on the top half of the bread. Put our chipotle up. We're going to take a white strainer, not the one you were using for chicken, and put kind of four to five slices of roast beef, depending on size, in there. One, two, three, four, I'm going to do four and a half. Four and a half. This um, microwave, not a whole minute because it's not frozen, maybe just 20 seconds to get the heat going. Uh, while that's going on, we're going to get our veggies going. Um, here's a trick I use with the tomatoes. Instead of trying to get slices out of this, um, but wanting to use all of it, I just kind of start taking it off the side and do it like a diced tomato thing, because it's still going to be good. And So if you had a regular sized tomato, you would have done a slice? Yeah, I would have just gone across it and done a good size, even slice, but you know, there's no use in wasting this tomato. It's still good. So done. our beef's done, so we take it from the microwave, then take the strainer, and beef broth, approximately one minute. Bring it back to the lab. We can shave off some onion. Once again, Diced in big enough chunks where you can taste it. It's not like an onion pate, it's like an onion. Uh, they're diced. Diced. It's chunked. Some lettuce. This particular one has lettuce, tomato, and onion. And once again, you know, use some of this green stuff that I left hanging out. And you don't want to waste this stuff, plus, it's crunchy. And good. The white stuff at the bottom of the romaine. We'll let the bread go just a little bit longer. You can get out your Say Uncle sauce. It's a horseradish sauce. It's really good. You can use the time while you're waiting for it to toast to put up your meat and cheese. Wipe down your area if need be. It's a good meal. So now we're going to go actually to the sauce. You want to get it on both sides of the bread. Yeah. Be pretty generous. I like to do it even when I'm eating one here, just a little more than I would at home, you know, because when you're eating out, you want it to be a little better. You want to get all that flavor. Make sure that gets strained real good, you don't want soggy bread. And that will happen if you got beef cheese in Get it evenly across your bread. No salt and pepper? No, I'm going to salt and pepper the tomatoes, but not the beef. And you know, when I do dice like this, you want to get it to where it's not the skin, so the tomatoes will actually absorb some of the seasoning that you're putting on as opposed to the skin just deflecting it. And salt.
1058. Yep. And you just kind of stack it on there. Once you put the bread on it, it'll even itself out. Cut it in half. Well, get the for here. Do it the for here with the uh, with the red plate and the chips. Okay. You're going to need the chips? Yeah. Uh, I like salt and vinegar, or sea salt and or fat, so. Take the chips. Boom. Say uncle and salt chips. Now you know how to make a say uncle at Kickbuck Coffee.